Okay, the second thing we have is we are doing a $500 giveaway to be able to host your first event. So everybody that attends and stays on till the end, um, we're gonna have Stephanie that's gonna be doing a drawing um, to get people going um, to be able to do that $500 giveaway to be able to host that first event. Um, one other thing is please mute your mics and have video on if possible. Um, again, huge thanks to Todd Ringo with uh, Thriving Financial for sponsoring the five, $500. Um, so I'm going to see. Okay, I don't see Wester Steve on yet. So I'm actually gonna kick it off with uh, Jessica Kohner will be our first um, person to share. I heard about our team had talked about she'd had a really successful event. And um, yeah, it's just as, as she went through. So I thought she'd be great to be able to invite on to be able to share about um, if you're thinking about hosting your first event or even your next event. So up is a BCC <laughs> captain, Jessica Cohn. Hello, we, um, we got some of our ideas for the garage sale on two, this is my second year captaining the year before I started, I got to help um, Alyssa and Kurt Schroeder's team. I run a daycare and we usually do a, um, adopt a family or um, do like a Toys for Tots kind of thing instead of buying me like coffee or cups or whatever it might be. Um, and then Alyssa was struggling that first year with COVID um, to do any in-person. So she was coming up short for, after all the fundraising for the 5,000, she was coming up short for gifts. So we did that. So my daycare families got involved. We got invited to the drop-off. My daughter cried. I cried. We decided when, um, when we were on the way home that we wanted to do our own. And then um, we were talking about it with my daycare kiddos. Sorry, I tried to get them to shush, but we we're talking about it with the daycare kiddos. And I asked what they could come up with for things to do to raise money. They call them the Christmas family. And um, they decided that they could sell some of their toys. So I had the first garage sale year, I had 15 families donate. We did a Friday, half day, Saturday garage sale, and we ended up with $1,600. We, um, put it in and not only like three days after I put it in, Alyssa said that you could try to get a company to match that and I had just put it in. So this year I searched high and low to find somebody who would do it. My cousin works for T-Mobile and so we ended up using him after the garage sale for the company match. So this year, um, kind of word of mouth, um, I had printed out on photo paper um, just a little bit about like with our QR code to donate directly with a little bit of our information. We handed those out at the garage sale. I handed them out ahead of time around town. We posted on all the garage sale pages, mom's pages, anything like that, and then had friends share it. We ended up having 18 families donate. And then I had people at the garage sale who left and then came back to bring us purses or whatever it might be. Um, we did have it priced ahead of time. We had most of the people um, priced stuff before they dropped it off and we just did the rest of it. But I told everybody everything is negotiable and such. Um, we ended up this year doing just on like $1,982 or something like that. So um, we just rounded that up to 2000 We um, got it to my cousin who works at T-Mobile and then he did the donation so that T-Mobile would do a match. So um, T-Mobile processed it at the end of May. It should be in our best Christmas ever account by the end of June and we should be $4,000 in. That's awesome. That is, that is totally awesome. And those matches are huge where it doubles the impact. Um, Jessica, did you just go through with just friends and family then for the 15 families to donate to the rummage sale? Or um, yeah, we, the first year it was people like our friends and family, um, people, my daycare, my daycare, great grandparents did it. And then, um, this year I was concerned that we kind of had tapped out all of our people, but I had, um, I had aunts of people that we know, a couple people from the Hastings, like mom's page um, on Facebook had messaged me and asked if we were doing it again this year and then asked when they could drop it off. So our citywide is the first week of May. So we started, we just emptied out our garage of our cars um, Easter weekend. And I just told everybody that they could bring whatever they wanted over. And then I made it clear that um, it was all going to a good cause. I was not going to bring anything back in my house. So whatever was left over was going to 
um, Goodwill and that if they stopped by the sale, I didn't want to deal with them being offended if I had underpriced anything. So we made that clear right away, but it went really, really smooth. That's awesome. No, so, so good. And, and it's, it's one of those things that's a win, win, win for everybody involved where people were, they were all very excited to clear out their stuff and feel good about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's awesome. What would you, what would you tell somebody that's thinking about hosting their first event and maybe thinking about doing a rummage sale type thing? What, what, what advice or guidance would you give them? We, um, we did pay like $30 to have it put in our city paper since we did it on the citywide weekend. They do like a virtual map and I know a lot of people had said that they saw it on there and I had just put all the proceeds go to best Christmas ever. But like once they got here, I probably gave the spiel about 42 times every hour and a half and um, I had a ton of people who we're like crying, asking me if they could be more involved. I have a couple people that I have no idea who are that wanted to come over when we do the wrapping and asked like, could they drop off wrapping paper to us? So um, I plugged it as much as I could on every Facebook page. And we had a video made last year of our drop, which is what I thought would kind of suck people back in this year, but that won't even be ready until October. So I was surprised at how much just like word of mouth back and forth, how well it went over. Um, the tickets that we printed out too just have like just the basic information on it and sorry um, sorry um, just have the basic information on it and uh, that was super super huge for um, uh, like I've had a ton of people that have checked back in it had our QR code on it I just printed it off at Walgreens on like actual picture forms and I had people asking me if they could like take them they work at our community center downtown and if they could leave them there so that was that was exciting this year it felt like it was more people wanted to be involved that's awesome way to go and hats off to you for four thousand dollars for a family that's just falling on crazy tough times way to get after it and you bring up an awesome point where a lot of times the awareness that comes from it that helps the nominations that helps just spread the word about it it's just like where you start to create that momentum in that team. So way to get after it. Thanks so much for sharing. If, if anybody has questions, please post in there and we'll do a question at the end. But with that, I'm actually going to move on to our next speaker. And who we have next is Jenny Hovde. Their family has been hosting a um, fireworks and fundraiser. I'll let her share about the details about it, but it's it's been just a big success that they've been able to do and they've built on it every year. But with that, Jenny, I'm gonna pass it on over to you and put the spotlight on. Sounds good. Well, thanks all for coming today. Um, and our family is doing their fourth um, annual fund fireworks and fundraiser this year. And we started five years ago, but had to take a year off. Um, and the idea for us was to help raise funds to be able to bless more families within Best Christmas Ever. Um, so our family's been captains and involved for a while, but there's my mother and father-in-law, and then there's four families. My husband's one of four. And so when we do our Best Christmas Ever um, and go through the process like all of you, that portion of it, we uh, self-fund. That's our give back for the year. Um, but we do want to raise additional funds for other captains or other families and things like that. So our first year that we held the fireworks and fundraiser, that was, um, we had a goal of 10,000 and we were 5,000 short of it. We raised $5,000 our first year. And what we did is um, my in-laws live on a lake and across from them, the golf course does fireworks on, the Sunday of Labor Day weekend. Um, and you can see the golf course directly out there back. So out in the backyard, have the some food set up, some beverages, and then um, fireworks go off and we don't pay any money for them. So we're just um, utilizing what is right there in the backyard. Um, and we have grown it from $5,000 to last year, we had over $30,000 in donations. So it's just the more of getting started and doing something because you never know what connections you're going to make. And it just simply starts to grow because after the first year, you know, we were a little bit disappointed. We didn't hit our goal, but then 
you know, some of the people that were there, I think it was around 60 people the first year, um, started to get involved. And then they brought more people and, you know, just has the snowball effect. And so this year, we're hoping, again, to raise that minimum of 30,000 is now our big goal. Um, hopefully, we'll surpass that. Um, but we anticipate there's going to be 160 to 170 people. So it should be a good turnout. The hard part is Sunday of Labor Day weekend. You know, lots of people are camping. Um, so we don't get as many people. But um, as we would hope for, we were hoping, you know, for really big numbers. But um, people donate at least to a good cause, too. And it's just been fun. It's just a laid back party in the backyard, music playing hors d'oeuvres, drinks, um, and last year we managed to snag Chris Hockey to have him come there and hoping he'll be a repeat this year, but um, haven't got the official word yet. But it's been fun. Just have fun with it. That's so awesome. And, and, and the part is just how many different captains have spun off the event where you mm -hmm. guys have, you know, hosted and how many families have been blessed because of it. It's just been fantastic. What, what, what would you say to somebody right now that's thinking of doing an event? You know, like think, go back to that first year and they're thinking like, hey, I want to do something. What it is like, like what, what, what would you say, like going through it from planning it to going through it now going into your fourth year? I think the first part would be just to keep it simple and easy for you to put together whatever it might be. Um, and then get through it one year so you can figure out how you can make it better um, the next year and just just do something. Doing nothing isn't going to get you where you want to be. That's awesome. It is uh, get, get the thing moving and start building the momentum. No, thanks so much for, for sharing, Jenny. Is there, is there any last words that you'd say or are you, or you got it covered? No, I just would say I'm impressed you all are here. We're six months out from Christmas and the fact you're here and thinking about it is huge in and of itself. So way to get after it. Thanks, Jenny. Okay, up next, we have a, uh, two special guests, um, Wes and Steve from U.S. Auctions, Universal Sports Auctions. And if you remember last year, they had um, filled, um, or we had put out the request for um, signed items for our Best Christmas Ever families. And they were able to go through and they were able to fill all those. They took care of the shipping to it, just very generous hearts. And as we've been learning more about them, we've, we've learned that they have a really um, unique piece of their business that ties really well with, with what we do. And, and what that is, is so one of the toughest parts, we've done a bunch of events and a bunch of fundraisers and everything. And one of those pieces is uh, the silent auction portion where it's having the silent auction, trying to gather all the stuff, trying to get it all together. And I find out that these guys, Wes and Steve, that's what they do. They come in, they set up the whole thing, but I'm not going to steal your thunder, but I really appreciate you guys. I'm really looking forward to having you at our annual event, September 12th. And I know you've already done some other captain events, but uh, yeah, I'll pass it over to Wes and Steve. Perfect. Thanks, Don, for the nice introduction. Yeah, I guess uh, we'll kind of keep it short and sweet what we do and that, that part of our business. Um, I guess we could be known as kind of the, the memorabilia guys. Um, but uh, the universal sports auction side of our business is a huge charity uh, driver um, involved with that. And we do, I think currently about 70-ish auctions a week. Um, granted that includes revolving ones that are continually going, but we do many, many different charity events during, uh, especially in the summer, a lot of golf events. Um, but Kind of what we do is an issue that people have that run events is like Don was saying, have trouble getting items together. So we have a ginormous warehouse of autographs, sports memorabilia, celebrity, whatnot. And we basically can bring the auction to you. Um, and the one thing that we love to pitch uh, for people is I know some people get worried about coordinating who's gonna do what. We have a process which we call an auction in a box. And basically we get together the whole auction package for you. All you have to do is bring it to your event, run it. And then we uh, take back what doesn't sell. So we'll provide the memorabilia, the easels, the bid sheets, the Jersey stands, everything you need to run it. And then afterwards we kind of square up. So we do work on kind of a, a percentage basis because unfortunately a lot of the memorabilia we get, we have to pay, you know, Adam Thielen, all these guys, a good amount of money to come in. 
So our cost just covers the cost of framing the jersey, the autograph and whatnot. And then, um, so that's a, kind of a quick rundown of what we do. I don't know if you have much to add, Steve, other than. Yeah, what I'd like to say is, is, is I think what we really do is we take um, a, a lot of work off your table, potentially. I understand that when somebody donates an item uh, that you get to keep 100% of the proceeds and that's not the case here. But what, we'll, what we will bring to your events will be the wow factor. Uh, when we come out with a Kirill Kaprizov sign display or, or Justin Jefferson, or we come out with a Beatles display or Rolling Stones or you know, some, some sort of movie memorabilia, maybe it's uh, you know, Cousin Eddie from Christmas Vacation. We have all these cool items, I'm sure more, Anybody that's been around the Twin Cities, you've probably seen us in all the different bars, restaurants, movie theaters. So you, you've seen the type of stuff that we have. And, and what I'll say to those things that are donating, you keep 100%, that stuff's going to sell anyway. So this is great on top. And the fact that you don't need to lift a finger that we do everything for you. We supply the product, like, like Wes said, the bid sheets, everything that you need to know, everything you need to do. And if you're doing an online auction, uh, we do a lot of that as well. So we will provide you the images, we'll provide you the descriptions, we'll provide you the minimum bid. So we literally take care of all of that stuff instead of you having to run around and, and, and chase down your, um, you know, your various items and your certificates and that. So I think what it does is it'll take your auction to another level. It will, it will add a kind of a wow factor. People love to talk about the sports and entertainment. Maybe it's a Prince display that they look at and, and, and they get to talking about that. And again, it's a free service for you. You have no risk. Uh, anything that you bring there, if it sells, you'll keep a percentage of it. And, and anybody that's interested can reach out to us directly uh, and we'll take you through all the percentages. And anything that doesn't sell simply comes back to us. So you have no risk, no harm, no foul. Uh, we do have a website and it's us-auctions.com. I'll repeat that. It's us-auctions, that's plural, A-U-C-T-I-O-N-S.com. You'll see a lot of setups on there. We've got a video on there showing some of our auction events. We've got our testimonials from a lot of, we do everything from Teen Challenge, Cystic Fibrosis, Wounded Warriors, down to you know Centennial Wrestling, and we do basketball and all kinds of things. So we would be honored to work with you. That's what it is that we're here to do. And um, so I know you guys got a lot of stuff to cover. So just wanted to appreciate the opportunity to be on here today. And I, I do believe that you will be so happy if you choose to utilize our service. It'll take a lot off your table and it will provide just a, a, a first class uh, auction for your, um, your group. Amen. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> really, really appreciate you guys, you guys coming on. I, I have a question. What, what size event? would be, is there a too small event or that if somebody's thinking, hey, we're having 40 people at a brewery or we're having that, is, is, there, is there a too small side of it? Or is it like, hey, this, this package would work for an event from if you're doing you know, 40 people or if you're doing up to 500 people, you could kind of cover the full um, along those lines. Yeah, that, that's a great question. In fact, I have somebody coming in this afternoon uh, from the Fraser Group. And, and they've done a larger auction. They have two events there. Uh, uh, one they're picking up today, it's for in a small brewery for 40 to 50 people. They can only provide us with uh, two eight foot tables. So in that case, so the answer to your question is nothing is too small. So in that case, I'll probably provide them with, you know, eight to 10 pieces uh, versus something uh, in their next one in, in July, uh, there's going to be four to 500 people there. And I believe we're getting probably like six to seven tables. And that's where something where we'll do maybe, you know, 25 to 30 pieces. Thank you. No, thank, thank you for that. That is because a lot of times I know as people are planning, especially their first event, they don't know who's going to show up or how it's going to go. And they're like, I don't want to waste their time. But it's kind of sounds like you guys have a package that could fit just about any event and it'd be a win all around. Yeah. And that's why the auction in the box works well, because, you know, versus sending somebody out to set up a, a silent auction for 40 or 50 people, you know, we obviously are a for-profit business. So at the same time, we have to, you know, we have to look at what, what our time is worth. But that's why we love auction in a box, because we'll pull it for you. And if you come down and we'll show you how to set it up and work the easel, and we'll, you know, we'll make sure that you're very comfortable with how you would run this thing. 
Um, but in that case, so it doesn't matter, you know, the, the size of the auction, whether it's a few pieces or a lot of pieces. And if you have a really big event and you want us to come out there and actually take care of setting it up for you, it just, you, the, the percentages work just a little bit differently on that based on whether we've actually have to go out there and have a, you know, physical presence out there. But auction and box will probably work for 90% of your, of your venues. Okay. No, that sounds good. Well, thanks again for being able to take the time to be able to jump on and, 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 and a huge thanks for um, your, your great donation last year of the signed items for the families. I know it was a highlight of so many different drops where the, you know, the families were opening up the signed jerseys and just different stuff. So yeah. really appreciate everything uh, that you guys are doing. And we're looking forward to partnering together, not only this year, but in beyond. So thanks. All right. Thank Thanks for all you do and to all the captains on here. I mean, seeing kind of some of the stories is pretty touching. So we'd love to continue to be a part of that, whether it's events or a donation here or there or whatnot. So Absolutely. thank you all. Thank you both. Okay, we're going to move on to the next part of question and answer. If we have any questions that are, are burning there, if you would like to um, either, either comment in um, on there, we see one that came through or um, Yes, we have. Has anyone organized a 5K type who I may be able to touch base with? So I know I know Jacqueline Pestle did a 5K. Um, I can't think of anybody else. Steph may know somebody off offhand that did a 5K. My gym may be down to partner with that. I just don't know where to start. Um, that is a great, great question. I, and again, I know Jacqueline Pestle had, had held one before, and we can definitely make that introduction. I've never done a 5K, so I can't really speak too much to it. Um, one of my kids. Oh, one of my kids in my BC family got one of those signed pieces last year. He was so excited. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That was from uh, Sammy. Um, next up is I would like to do a golf tournament, but I have no idea how to do it. Um, of course, I'm in South Carolina. Um, hey, Barb, I actually have, we did, um, I'll send over a recording that we did Monday that we talked through golf tournament specifically. So all like what to do for that golf tournament. And I will email you that recording right after. And it was, uh, again, somebody who had just held one, Nick Angel. And then we also had um, Ashley Schatz on there who held one last year and is holding another one coming up in the fall, um, which, was, which was really, really good. Um, okay, I'll send out the golf stuff to, uh, to Christina. I'll send that over too. Okay, next up, we, um, again, any other questions, feel free to comment in, but we're going to move right to, I want to uh, be respectful of everybody's time and move right to the drawing. We have the $500 courtesy from um, Todd from Thrivent Finance, Todd Ringo from Thrivent Financial, and uh, I'm going to pass it over to Stephanie, um, Stephanie Ninus, so I'll put you. Perfect. Could you uh, enable screen sharing? Yep, yep. Uh, and just to confirm, I've got Jessica, Ashley, Christina, Sam, Nikki, Sammy, Anna, Mindy, and Barb. Am I missing anyone? If so, chime in quickly. Here you go, Steph. I made you the host. You should be, should be able to share it. All right. Are you able to see my screen? Yep. I hope that's a yes. All right, perfect. Thumbs up. All right, here we go. Ready? Woo, Jessica. Uh, you will, uh, yay. <laughs> you will see that uh, $500 into your Kindful account um, if it's set up. If it's not set up, just uh, shoot Jenny a message and she'll be able to, uh, but yeah, otherwise uh, we will get that into your Kindful account. That's awesome. C congrats, Jessica. Thank you, Stephanie, for running that. Again, thank you everybody for being able to jump on and, uh, you know, for Jessica, Jenny, Wes and Steve for all sharing. Um, it, it's really those things about um, a lot of times if you don't know where to go or where to step. We're all here to support you. If there's anything that we can do on our side, we, we, we want to be able to, you know, be able to support and share the different things that we've learned in the past. But with that, let me see. Could, could we, uh, I just was curious if we, we wanted to do a giveaway to uh, signed Eric Kendrick's uh, Vikings jersey, if you want to run that wheel again. Oh, look at that. Yeah, what is it, a signed? <laughs> Eric Kendricks of the Minnesota Vikings um, uh, jersey. So if you end up being the winner, just type in your address in um, the chat here and we'll send it out today. Look at that. Thanks, Wes. Thanks, Steve. Generosity inspires generosity. What we always say, here goes for the 
the signed jersey. Okay. So got everybody are ready. Here we go again. Hannah. Whoop, whoop. Oh, Hannah wins. Good, good. Congrats, Anna. Um, thanks for that, Wes and Steve. You, you guys are generous as heck. That's awesome. No worries. Okay, cool. Well, we will um, get that. So, Anna, we just need to get your address. I don't know if you post it up in there or else um, send it on over. But, yeah, we'll, we'll get that out to you. Thanks, Wes. Um, thanks, everybody. Any questions, feel free to reach out or post in the captain's group if you're planning on hosting an event. I know we have a form that is now – where you can enter in your event and we'll help you promote it too, just on our website and everything else to kind of like uh, everybody working together here. Um, with that, everybody have a great rest of your Thursday and uh, yeah, we'll sign off there three minutes early. Take care, everybody. Bye. Thank you.